morning everyone and happy Thursday. Welcome back to another episode of Chelsea in the City, my weekly vlog series. It's good to have you back. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up before we get started and to click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you on board. And without further ado, let's get the day started. So it's around 11 a.m. and I've had quite a productive morning. I've just been cleaning my apartment, doing a bit of self-development work. You know, I was writing in my gratitude journal, writing out some affirmations and also just reflecting on my goals and what I want from today and just from life in general. So that was very therapeutic and very motivating. And then I've gotten ready for the day and I'm here with you guys about to head out to grab a coffee. As you guys know, I'm addicted and I need my daily dose of coffee and of exercise. So I'll get my steps in for the day, go for a bit of a walk and get some nice fresh air. So I'm looking forward to that. But other than that, I don't have too many plans to be honest. It's a pretty chilled out Thursday for me. I did want to mention that I recently got a haircut. I got my hair cut and colored yesterday and it feels so good. It looks so fresh. I've gone for a bit of a shaggier look in terms of the layers that the hairdresser has put into my hair. And she's also cut in a little bit of a side fringe, not too short because I didn't want to go all out and then regret it. I'll slowly make the transition to getting possibly a side fringe, but I just love the way she has cut and styled my hair. It's sitting so beautifully and looks so much healthier. So it's amazing what a haircut and color can do for the soul, right? Especially at the moment because, you know, we haven't been able to go out all the time and we are encouraged to stay home. Luckily, hairdressers are still open, but I haven't been getting my weekly blow waves. I just went in to get my hair cut and colored. So that's about it in terms of life updates. I am wearing this beautiful country road cardigan that I bought yesterday and I'm just obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. I love the color and I just think that it's the perfect like cozy cardigan for this kind of weather, this cold wintry weather, even though it's not yet winter. Anyway, time to grab a coffee. I will check back in with you very soon. I've been running from myself so long. I was really in the zone there for a while. Honestly, I've just been working at my laptop for about, I reckon like three hours and I didn't even realize it. And then I looked outside my window and noticed that it's starting to get dark. So that means that it's time for dinner. I think I've earned it. I've had a really, really productive day and I'm just really proud of myself for, you know, I haven't felt motivated, but I did it anyway. You know, all of those tasks that have been sitting on my to-do list, I finally ticked them off and yeah, I just find at the moment that I'm not motivated to do anything because every day is the same. It's just a bit boring. So I'm just a bit over it and I'm sure you guys can relate to that. But sometimes, you know, even if you're not motivated, that's when discipline comes in and you have to have a stern talking to yourself and say, you know what, you've just got to do it anyway. So I got a lot of things done today, a lot of emails, a lot of like life admin stuff. So really happy with that. I think it's time for dinner though, because I'm quite hungry. It's only like 5.30, but I'm a bit peckish. So that means time to eat. I will check in with you guys either tonight or tomorrow morning, but I'll speak to you soon. Happy Friday, everyone. It's around 11 a.m. and I'm in desperate need of a coffee this morning. I woke up feeling really flat and tired, to be honest, and I think it's just because like I've been saying, we have to do the same thing every single day, but today I did kind of dress up a little bit and I'm getting ready to go out for my supermarket shop. I'm going to the South Melbourne market, so I'm looking forward to going there, maybe grabbing a coffee, getting a smoothie. We'll see what the day brings, but it's a nice sunny day here in Melbourne, which is beautiful, just what we need. So I'm going to soak up the sunshine before it turns really cold tomorrow. But I wanted to show you guys the bag of the day because I'm trying to spruce up my outfits at the moment and just, you know, try and bring some excitement into my life. And usually I would wear this special Louis Vuitton flower floral kind of bag on weekends, on a Friday night, a Saturday or a Sunday. And, you know, at the moment we can't go out. I can't wear 
you know, my dressy outfits on the weekend. So I thought, why not just dress things up with this bag today? So I've got a special bag. I'm wearing my favorite rag and bone stripy top and you know, that makes me feel good on the inside and outside. So let's go brave, brave the crowds or not so much of a crowd actually. Let's just brave life and go out and go to the South Melbourne market and get caffeinated because my brain is not processing because I haven't had my caffeine hit yet. Things have never been the same since you packed your bags and Coffee number two. I've had a really lovely morning here in South Melbourne. It's been so nice to go around the market. We bought some fresh, you know, seafood, some fresh fruit and veg. The car's all loaded up, all good to go. It's very windy, but it's so nice to get some fresh air and to be out in the sunshine, even though it is a bit, it's a bit fresh. I'm not going to lie, but it's so good. I've got, you know, my coffee. I'm feeling caffeinated, feeling energetic, feeling alive, and the atmosphere at the market was definitely a lot busier than the previous weeks that I've been here. It's actually quite exciting to feel like life is returning to normal again. Obviously, you know, not too soon, but everyone was socially distancing and it was just good to be out and about. So cheers to that. I am getting my car washed in case you can't hear that loud sound. I always get so like scared in these things that I'm gonna get stuck, but my car is in desperate need of a wash. So I'm looking forward to it all being nice and clean. I just got back from a walk in the city. It's such a beautiful night and seeing the city at night is so special. It's so beautiful all lit up and I've just ordered Uber Eats. I got the notification that my fish and chips are on their way, which is so exciting. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know how much going for a walk just then made a difference to my mood. It's really lifted my spirits. I felt really flat today and I think it's because I haven't been exercising enough and just moving my body enough this week. You know, I've gone for these little walks, but nothing substantial. So I think that's my lesson that I really need to make sure I'm moving my body enough so that it makes that difference because I find personally that I exercise for my mental health, not so much, you know, for my body or anything, but just so I feel clear minded and I haven't been exercising nearly as much as I would have back in the day. So I think, yeah, that's something I've definitely learned today because I feel so good, so energized now that I've been outside, got some fresh air, moved my body, got my 10,000 steps in, so yeah, I don't know, can you guys relate to that? Do you feel the same? Because I just feel like at the moment, I'm not getting in my steps, I'm not getting in any exercise, unless I really make that effort to do it. So yeah, food for thought, but I'm quite hungry, looking forward to getting my fish and chip fix. I'm also going to redo my vision board tonight, which I'm excited about. I've printed out some new photos with some new goals and aspirations that I have, and I'm going to cut them out and pin them on my vision board and just spruce things up a bit because I think this is a really good time for self-reflection and goal setting. What's one of your goals? I have so many different goals, to be honest, but maybe one of them from this whole conversation is to really commit to my fitness because clearly I'm not. <laughs> you know, I did do a personal training session at the beginning of the week, but other than that, I haven't followed through. So that's my little goal for the week. Short term goal, but you know, something that's really important. So let me know what one of your goals is by leaving a comment below. Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. I am so cold this morning. It's going to be a freezing day today here in Melbourne. So I'm all rugged up. I've got my beanie on, I've got my scarf, my Montclair jacket. I'm laid up and ready to brave the cold because I'm going to get a takeaway brunch. I do go back to work tomorrow, so I like to treat myself on my days off to a takeaway brunch, seeing as I usually would go out for brunch, but we can't at the moment, so that's my plan. And I'm also thinking of running into David Jones to get a skirt for work, because I feel like I just need a few key items for work at the moment. It is getting a lot colder, and I'm still building up my work wardrobe, being new to the corporate world. So I do need to get a few pieces, but I'll see how it goes. It is still open, but obviously we're being encouraged to stay home as much as we can. I'll let you know how it goes anyway. But they did announce some exciting things yesterday in terms of, you know, restrictions being lifted, except 
here in Victoria. It looks like we're going to stay in stage three for a little bit longer. Hopefully, you know, things will slowly improve and maybe we can catch up with friends, go to people's houses even. I'm just sick of this, you know, routine life. Honestly, I just want to see my friends. I want to see my family. I want to change things up. I feel like I'm living the same life every single day, but I know you guys feel the same. We're all in this together. It's just like we're so close now that it's, yeah, it's like a taste of freedom. I'm really excited for things to change up, but we won't know until Monday. So I'll let you know in next week's video, but let's go get brunch. Let's get coffee and let's enjoy what's a gloomy Saturday, but let's still have fun and enjoy it. Got my takeaway brunch and my coffee. Time to go eat it in the car. Played your cards. Summer felt like autumn with the sun so bright. Okay. I've had my brunch and now I'm heading into the city for my daily dose of exercise. It's so cold. I'm actually frozen. And yeah, everything is cold. That's all I can say. But I just need to brave the cold and get my steps in because I know that it'll make me just feel so much better. So let's go. Searching courage to get up again. I'm here at the Emporium in the city and I've been walking around. It's pretty quiet to be honest. And especially in this center, there aren't too many people. There's a cafe over there, so there are a few people like getting takeaway coffees, but the shops are empty. The few shops that are open are empty and there are some people like inside the stores that are closed getting prepared to open. You can see them like cleaning and reorganizing, but other than that, it's really eerie. It's also quite dark in the center on some like floors in some areas. So it's um, a bit strange. It's just, yeah, I think we're all, a bit like on the cautious side. I did notice that David Jones looked quite busy. I think all the dads were there buying presents for Mother's Day. But other than that, the city is a ghost town. And I think the weather has made that really worse for us, but it's good because it makes us all want to stay at home, which is what we should be doing. I'm just lucky that this is my local neighborhood so I can explore and see, you know, what's happening in the city, document it and bring it to you guys in case you haven't been able to visit the city in a while and you love Melbourne like me. Hopefully, you know, I can bring you along and show you what's happening here. Anyway, I'm going to keep moving. Might grab another coffee soon, but I'll keep you posted. No shopping for me today, unfortunately because there's nothing around and there are no stores open. David Jones is too busy, it's making me feel overwhelmed. I went inside to have a quick look and I was like, there are too many people here and I just think it's best if I avoid the crowd. So let's keep moving, let's see what's happening around the city and I'll show you along the way. You'll see these signs everywhere in Melbourne. Your safety is our priority. Keeping a healthy distance is everyone's priority. 1.5 meter distance and you know, sneeze into a tissue or your elbow and regularly wash your hands for 20 seconds. Obviously this is an Emporium sign, but these kinds of signs are all over the city. This is a sign out front of Aesop and it's all about, you know, hygiene. So it just goes to show all of the shops are catching on as well. Very good marketing, isn't it? I think this is the saddest sight in the whole Emporium. I was really looking forward to buying some new makeup but Mecca is closed until we meet again. Goodbye to the ghost town. <laughs> it's um, it's the shortest shopping trip I've been, ever been on, that's for sure. And the cheapest shopping trip. <laughs> Haven't spent a cent because there's nothing to buy. In an armful of a friend guys have it thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Chelsea in the city I hope you enjoyed it it's actually the following Friday now or Friday should I say so I'm starting a new video here I'll see you then in the meantime don't forget to give this vlog a big thumbs up click that subscribe button come and join the Frenchie fam I'd love to have you on board and my goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers so help a girl out Tag your friends, you know, share this around. Let them know that if they're into lifestyle and just Melbourne content in general to check out my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day because you deserve it. I'll see you very soon. Bye. 
Between walls we both know oh so well Now's the time he stops pretending